Mike. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Diego from Quit Stalling. We're here at the Indy Arena from ESGS 2016. And today, I have my, beside me my co-host, Harold, over here. Hey, Harold. And with me, we have the, the character designer of Tooth and Tail. Sir, please introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Juro Masinto. Uh, I'm the artist in Tooth and Tail. I did all the character designs and helped with art direction, too. So, so, like, where's, the rest of, <laughs> so where's the rest of your team today? Uh, where's the rest of your uh, development team? They're in America. They're in their office right now. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. All right, all right. So, why don't you uh, tell us a little, a, little bit about, a little bit about yourself as a developer of this game? Oh, okay. Well, uh, I guess I could start with my history with them. Yeah, okay. for sure. Sure, man. okay. Um, well, uh, I started, uh, well, it all started when Andy Nguyen um, commissioned me to do a poster for this game. Mm -hmm. And the rest is history from there uh, because uh, they like what I did. and. Uh, they asked me if, uh, if I want to get on board. So yes, of course I agree with that. Okay. So from from there, I did some assets, uh, in-game assets and, and character designs. And still, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a long story. Maybe we could talk about it later. Yeah, okay. sure. 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 Uh, let's get into sure. the game. Sure. Yeah, let's get into the game. All right, so uh, walk us through uh, what's happening. Hmm. OK, just control. Right. So uh, here. In menu. Um, since the story mode is still not still not available, okay. Uh, sure. I guess we could uh, do a split screen. Okay. Sure. Screen. Uh, so I'll play with you. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll switch around. I'm we'll switch just switch kidding. It's, it's cool. It's cool. I'm okay to watch <laughs> this one. Uh, yeah, that's one thing I like about this game. Uh, You're bringing back the traditional split screen yeah, style. Yeah. Couch co-op. Nice. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. So you designed most, almost all everything, all the art. Yeah, uh, all the all the painted art uh -huh. and, and also the designs for the, for the units. Mm, okay, okay. So, what made you guys decide to go for like uh, the animal, uh, the animal feel? Uh, yeah, mm. animals as the design basically of the characters. Ah, uh, well, uh, do you know Redwall? Red. Redwall. Redwall. Uh, uh, it's just a it. series of uh, novels uh, featuring uh, woodland creatures uh, going to war. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Bas basically that's the theme. Uh, War, war drama, uh, horrors of war, uh, and uh, I'm a fan of that too. So uh, that's why I got on board here. And Red Bull being influential, uh, uh, okay, it being influential, uh, I guess that's the reason why he cho cho uh, chose the anim uh, animal theme, animal theme, animal theme for the war okay. for the uh, Russian Revolution slash World War One. Mm, okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, what's happening? Like, what are we choosing? Okay. I know there's a lot of things flipping around. Yes. Uh, uh, at this point, uh, we're choosing which units uh, we br uh, we bring in battle. Um, oh, you choose your units. Yes. Uh, okay. Let me explain a bit. Um, yes. uh, you see, uh, there are mo multiple tiers here. Tier one. Okay. Uh, they're the least uh, least costing units to produce uh, so, uh, because uh, the the currency you have here is food. Oh, yeah, okay. food, not not money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, these ones, these these guys are the cheapest tier okay. two. Uh, uh, much more heavier creatures and uh, uh, also damaging. Okay, okay. Cost higher than tier one, and likewise tier three. They're the most expensive ones, and they're they take the longest to produce. Okay. And these ones are uh, defense structures. Oh, okay. Uh, so the far, uh, defense structures on the lower right of the screen. Mm -hmm. So it's not really Unix exclusive to a certain. Uh, uh, ra is that is that are those counts as heroes on top or no? Uh, like races. No, uh, these are the units that you're going to rally into battle. Okay, I mean like the ones on uh, the ones on top. Mm -hmm. The main no. ones. Oh. Yes. Uh, these ones. Okay. And yeah. Oh and yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. The one you're going to directly control is are the heroes. Are the heroes? Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's not ex oh, okay. I get it now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll assemble our teams together. Uh, I, I, ho I hope you don't make me look too bad. Uh, <laughs> this is my first time playing, uh, and he is uh, part of the development team, so <laughs> it's, it's going to be a massacre. It's going to be a massacre. No, weirdly enough, I only recently got into uh, getting to appreciate the, the depth of the gameplay. Okay. Because it's only recently that they added bots. Oh, uh, okay. okay. So before you'd have to play against someone. Yes, oh, and I suck so much at playing against the uh, human players. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, you're about to you're you're about to meet your match. I suck equally <laughs> as well as you. <laughs> okay. Uh. So the I noticed the ones on tier three are the ones with uh they're they're more named ca uh, characters. Uh, compared to the ones in the other tiers where they're like volunteers, yes. uh, they, mm -hmm. they're more group names. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose uh, the reason why is uh, since they're the most expensive ones and they're the, they're the most uh, well, that where uh, well, they're game changers. Uh -huh. um, I guess there's they're the closest thing you have for hero units. Okay. That's why they named it like that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? All right. You better be. Do you know how to do you know how to control burst or not? Uh, no, uh, walk me through this. Okay, so okay, uh, that's you over there. Uh, okay, I'm on the right side. Yeah, you're the yellow team. Okay. Uh, so we're, what? We're, do you, what sorry, do we're playing co-op right yes. now. Yes. Okay. Oh, are we co-op? Oh, are we playing versus? Yes, we're versus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so what you do here is uh, you see that uh, counter at the top? Yeah. Th that's the food counter. So uh, that's how, how much food we have? Mm. Okay, so a uh, you keep you keep uh, gaining food as okay. long as you have these. Uh, these fa these farms, okay. uh, the one with the t tall tall wheat grasses. Okay. Um, so if you want to if you want faster pro progression for the food, you have to build farm. Okay. So build farm. It also costs food. It costs food to build the farm, but mm -hmm. they in turn it generates more food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta spend food to make food. Huh? Yeah. And to build the units, uh -huh. uh, you select the uh, left bumper, right bumper. Left bumper. Oh. oh okay. okay. Oh. Then. Just uh, press A. Okay, let's start with this squirrel. You have to have a uh, 60. There's the cost. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the cost is random. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. On the lower, uh, on the lower uh, part of the screen, mm -hmm. near the middle. So, um, building units and their, their bunkers take time. So while while they're building and while we're gaining food, the the good thing to do at this point is to look, is to find where your opponent is. Ah, oh, okay. so, so we're going to do some scouting. Oh, so okay. the, uh, you have to scout yourself, you don't yeah. command units to Ah, oh, oh, there, there you are. are. <laughs> Can I melee you? Oh, no. Uh, actually, okay. uh, <laughs> we, as, we as flag bearers uh, cannot uh, directly attack, but, okay. but the pig farmers can. Oh, okay. Mm. So we could, could we switch between them? Uh, which one? Uh, can we switch uh, which character we have uh, currently? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Okay. We, we route them. Okay. The oh, so, so you have units now, right? Okay. Um, uh, to rally them, press... Uh, Hold uh, right trigger. Right trigger. Yeah. Right, right trigger. Yeah. So they'll follow you wherever you go. Okay. Uh, but right trigger is a. Uh, oh wait. Uh, let me do something first. Okay, let's let's add a different unit. Me. Oh, uh, the one the units you are rallying are the healers. Okay. They're not attackers. Yeah. So I have to get some attackers. Yep. Yeah. Squirrel. Get the get with the club. <laughs> How do squirrels work too? <laughs> I get both of them. What's the the food like, uh, the cap limit for units? What for like, what's the limit for units uh, that one side can have mm. the maximum? Ah, well, so far, um, uh, num the number of units are limited uh, depending on how much bunkers you oh, you so put it, out. It, it can just keep going on. So since hour. I only have one bunker here for the squirrels, uh, I can only have three squirrels. If I add one, I can have six. Okay. Mm. How many of this? You can make as much bunkers. As you want? That I haven't tried actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna set up my defense my turrets. I see. Yeah. So, okay, uh, this is what I wanted to explain. Um, you hold right trigger to rally all your units. Alright, let's, let's give this a go. Yeah. Oh, they're following okay. me! <laughs> <laughs> but here's the, th here's the thing. Uh, let's say I selected my squirrel over here. Uh -huh. If I press left trigger, only the squirrels will, will follow me. Oh. Mm. oh, as long as I, as long as we have yes. them on our screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Press the left trigger. Yeah. Oh, cool. But if I press the right trigger, they all show up and start following me. Okay. okay so let's uh, let's show everyone how attacking works. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna get you. Okay, I'm right here. Oh, so they just start. They, yep. they start attacking each other. Uh -huh. All right. I've lured you into my trap. <laughs> <laughs> so, so while that's happening, you could uh, manage your farm too. Oh, really? Yeah. As you're slaughtering my units. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I just slaughter my animals. Uh, so when when your units die, uh, okay, they're, they'll regenerate since uh, there's there's still bunkers at them. Okay. Mm. So, so as it's, long it's as a the bunkers are up. 
they'll keep regenerating. Yeah, it's a continuous process. Okay. Yeah. And uh, as long as I'm holding down the right trigger, they'll, they'll slowly to uh, come towards me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see what you're doing. You lured me into a false sense of security. <laughs> I felt like I could trust you. Oh shit, you have a mortar cannon. Oh no. Uh, I, I, I oh, don't trust oh, you. I, see there. I don't trust you right now. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you could uh, directly teleport to your base by oh, yeah, I holding, saw that. How uh, holding X. Holding X. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to run away and I'm going to try that. Is it possible, to, uh, because I noticed the map's pretty big and mm -hmm. you're already engaging each other. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a, in the Fog of War, there's an entire map that's not discovered yet. Is it possible to expand? Yes, yes, expand actually. Base, eh? See this, base, see eh? this uh, unused windmill? Yeah. Uh, I could build my build another farm here so my territory can expand. Oh, okay, okay. Base expansion. Uh, yeah. you, you, see, you see that red line? Yes. Uh, oh, that's the build area. Yeah, that's the build area. If I create another farm, uh -huh. that red line expands. Oh, okay, okay, I see. So, yes, I'm going to build here too. So my territory expands. Ooh. Oh, no, he destroyed it. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> so here... Uh, yes, it's also important to build extra farms because food runs out. Okay. See, see here. Yeah. So I'm gonna build a large set of food. For my units. Oh, why am I dying? I see what you're doing. Is it possible during a game that, um, because as you said, you build farms on the grass, right? Yep. Uh, is there a point where all the grass will run out? Yes. Oh, okay. Doesn't. And you'll only rely on units after that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is pretty fun. I'm starting to get yeah. really competitive, that's why I got quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually easy to learn. Yeah, it seems pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. On it average, how, how long will a game usually last? Um, maybe a minimum of five minutes. Uh, that depends. If, if, uh, it normally takes longer if no one dies. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going. Let's see how this happens. Let's see how this goes on. Like, it's so fun to see, like, Birds with machine guns yeah, exactly. on their backs. Yeah, you see, <laughs> you, could, you could appreciate the animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's here. what I really want to point yeah. out. The animation is really nice. So the yeah. characters you're using to move around, those are mice. Uh, rats. Rats. They're rats. They're, uh, they're <laughs> commanders. Oh. They're the, they're flag bearers. They're uh, basically the leaders of their faction. Mm. I can because I, it was just it was like it's kind of a nod to the fact that you use your mouse to move around mm. usually. <laughs> <I guess>. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Right. Oh, that's that's one thing I should ask them. He <laughs> <laughs> starts. He called them mouse mice instead of rats, right? <laughs> yeah. Hold your oh, oh, see, see what happened. I ran out. I ran out of food, and you ran out of food. Oh, because oh, wow. because uh, every time we replenish our units, yes. food is consumed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one thing to to avert that is uh, maybe sell. One. Oh, so okay. you can build more farms. Yes. Okay. No, no. Uh, so you could uh, have instant food. Instant food. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So I'm noticing that uh, my my units have died. Mm -hmm. So uh, what what happened there? Mm. So. Oh, see, there's here's a problem. Uh, you you can't regenerate your, your units because uh, you have zero food. Okay. And you have uh, zero farms, and you can't build another farm because you have zero food. So what you have to do is you have to sell your bunkers. I'm selling well, bunkers. Uh, and sell units too. All right. So, so let's say I'm selling my chameleons. Yes. Uh, how do I use that in turn to make more farms? Mm. Uh, you can't use this because uh, all the food is uh, used. used oh, oh CA1. <laughs> uh, actually, that's the condition for, for winning and losing. Uh, if, you, uh, if your army uh, goes hungry, okay, uh, that's how you lose. Oh, mm. okay. And now we're getting a replay of uh, how yes. we were playing? Mm. Oh, that's wow. pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I obviously lost. Uh, no surprise there. <laughs> um, so I lost because I ran out of food and all my units went hungry. Yep. Okay, so that's a that's a cool way to win. Yes. Is that the only way to win? Yes, actually. Uh, okay. Because uh, uh, it's uh, tied to the lore of the game. Uh, do you know the lore of the game or not? No, yet? no. Uh, especially for the fine folks at home, uh, tell them what uh, oh, sure. okay. what, the, what the story is for the game. Okay. Uh, so just a bit is uh, there are four units. Uh, sorry, four factions here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, all of them are, fi are fighting to, to eat. To okay. Eat. Uh, who to eat, actually. Who to eat. Uh, okay, their factions here are the commoner faction. Uh, the hero uses the commoner faction, uh, the commoner leader, and the one you're using is the leader of the re uh, religious faction. Okay. And the other two factions are the, are the aristocratic faction and okay. the, okay. The, the army. Or more like the, the police. Okay. The government, yeah. Um, basically, uh, 
the issue here is uh, chances of uh, dying of, of starvation is very high. Okay. So what they have to do is uh, they have to fight uh -huh. for they have to they have to fight against each uh, against each faction uh, to decide who's gonna eat who wins gets to oh, eat. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow! Awesome. Okay. L a little uh, Bugs Life. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, how? So it's faction based. So meaning that uh, it's not just a chameleon wants to eat the the rats or uh, the the birds want to eat the I don't know uh, want to eat the squirrels. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty much oh they're banding together. Yes. And, and they're, make, they're making sure that everyone gets to eat, kind of. A, yes. Uh, it's, it's er, not everyone in their faction gets to eat. Everyone in mm, the faction yeah. gets to eat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, who chooses the alliances? I mean, we're we're on the commander screen right now, but uh, who, yeah, who who chooses? Uh, story wise, uh, who leads the faction? Uh, these guys. These guys. Okay, yeah. so the commanders lead the faction. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell us more about the commanders. Is there is there backstory to them? Oh uh, sure. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, th uh, this one. Uh, yeah. hmm. Actually, let's get to the main menu. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this Hopper, the leader of the uh, the commoner faction. Oh, and she uh, was the one you were controlling just mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so the story here is uh, um, she basically she loves her people. Okay. And she doesn't want to see them starve. Okay. So she so she chopped off her own arm to feed them. I wow, didn't what? notice that. Uh. She is missing <laughs> an arm. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't notice that. Okay. Okay. Go on. Yeah. Well, originally she she had an arm over there. I, I hope so. But we we wanted to strengthen the. Well, we wanted to push the lore behind her. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So we yeah. should make comics of this. <laughs> That'd actually be <laughs> probably. Cool. Yeah. I would love the story. So we get a lot. I assume we get a lot of that in the story mode. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Uh. Let's see. Uh, let's get. Let's look at the other characters. Um, okay. Sure. Uh, this guy, Bellafide, uh the story behind this guy is uh, his, uh, his son was the uh, chosen sacrifice for the for the feast for the feast thing that that happened before this game. So his uh, his son was eaten alive. Oh, wow. alive. alive! So everyone that you know, well, not probably alive, or but chopped alive and cooked. Oh <laughs> my gosh! Uh, okay. Wow! So yeah, um, beneath the the adorable exterior of of this game <laughs> is is a very dark. Story. <laughs> yeah, I thought it's gonna be like cute and cuddly things just want to fight and brawl, and it's darker than that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's basically red water. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah, go on. Sorry. So uh, this guy was uh, Bellafide is uh, very angry and filled with vengeance over what over what happened uh -huh. uh, to his son. So basically, uh, uh, it's the death of his son that actually uh, sparked the civil war. Okay. Uh, so he banded uh, he banded his uh, faction together along with Hopper. Okay. Mm. Oh, along with Hopper. Yeah. Okay. So they're, they're, they're working they're together. Yeah, they're allies. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm noticing it's more Game of Thrones than Rescuers Down Under. <laughs> 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 All right. Go on. Yeah. Okay, let's let's uh, talk about uh, Archimedes. Archimedes. Uh, uh, he looks uh, evil. He looks evil. Rasputin. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, kind of looks like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's <laughs> menacing eyebrows. <laughs> he does have the in the, in the eye bags. Mm. So it's pretty much his eyes. Yeah. yeah. So he's the leader of the uh, religious faction. Okay. Um, pretty much, uh, the the their faction is are uh, is the th one that decides who who gets to eat. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're oh, so basically they're the using the power of the uh, religion. So they're the ones that are kind of heads right now that are dictating, yes. like, mm. oh, your son gets sacrificed. Yes. Yes. That's it. Oh, that's brutal. Mm. And the quartermaster, uh, she's she's an authoritarian leader. Uh, basically, she she's kind of uh, no, not Hitler. Stalin, <laughs> kind of a dictator ish. Yes, she's a pretty much a dictator. Uh, okay. She she believes in a uh, peace out of uh, out of uh, absolute order. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what's up with her eye? Like, uh, could you make it? Could you tell us how she lost her eye? Hmm. Well, from all the fighting. Oh, okay. there's, there's no really concrete thing. No, yet. no concrete reason. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, th that's all the heroes. Oh, okay. Right. okay. Yeah. Man, this is really interesting. I love how there is backstory that gets mm -hmm. you engaged into yeah. these yeah. these characters. Yeah. Thank Andy for that. Uh, oh really? And Andy shots. Uh, uh, he, Hello, he, Andy. <laughs> thank you. Hello, Andy. He, he lovingly crafted the lore behind this game. Nice. Wow. Yeah. I'd, I'd I'd love to sit down with you sometime, Andy, <laughs> and talk about the lore because this is really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It seems uh. like when I was watching the game, 
as you guys were playing. It seems like if two pros got at it, it would seem like it's a really yes. fast-paced strategy mm -hmm. game. And like if almost anything, everything, so much micromanaging happening because one battle could be happening here, one could be happening yes. could be there. And it's that's like a great thing about it. Uh, although there, there's, there appears to be uh, some uh, micromanaging, mm -hmm. it's actually very easy to manage. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, um, all the stuff is happening in uh, using a controller, simple yeah. controls. So. But uh, you could also use mouse and keyboard too. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it seems like yeah, it's pretty straightforward in, in mm -hmm. how things work. You only have one resource. It's not yep. like most RTS games. You have like yeah. three. <laughs> this one's just <laughs> one. It's pretty simple. Straightforward. You have to have wood. You have to have silver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it seems like it's something that can be really fast paced mm -hmm. as, a, as an RTS. That's that's why uh, this game is uh, targeted to people who are having a hard time um, coping with uh <laughs> playing against the <laughs> no, no, sorry, Starcraft uh, pros. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh -huh. coping with the learning curve of Starcraft. Mm -hmm. People like me. That's why I enjoy this game thoroughly. Yeah. yeah. It's simple. Yeah. It's fun. I love the animation. Love the character art. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk a little bit more about the art. So mm -hmm. you mentioned that you were the lead character designer. Yeah. All right. So mm. uh, walk us through your process. Like, walk us through these characters. Mm, okay. So mm. uh, how, how does it work? Do you, do you get the info? Do you get the lore, and then mm. yeah, like who decides you're gonna make a chameleon with a carrying a spike club? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe let's start with the uh, with the faction leaders. All oh, right. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. so uh, there is the ones that uh, took a lot of time mm -hmm. because uh, we ha we wanted to uh, get them get, uh, get them correctly mm -hmm. uh, right down to the smallest design uh, and uh, for let's say for Hopper like I said uh, or originally she was just uh, uh, she was uh, uh, well she basically looked like that and yeah. she, her other arm was there yeah yeah but we felt that. Uh, uh, we felt that it wasn't enough to to interpret uh, her her love and devotion for her people. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. And as for as for technical design, uh, her overall look uh, has uh, go gone through a lot of uh, changes. Like right now, you can see she has a bit of a, uh, humanistic proportion, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah at one point. Uh, she looked like a character from. Do you know Secret of Nim? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God! I was avoiding uh, talking about Secret of Nim because I didn't want to bring up the emotions that I had for that <laughs> movie. Well, actually, Secret of Nim is has a lot of uh, influence in it. Oh wow! Yeah. It, it shows Secret of Nim is mm. is it's it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Secret of Nim is the one with the rabbits. Is that no, right? no, no, no. That's, no, that's, uh, uh, that's mice. Uh, yeah, uh, Secret of Nim is mice. Yeah, uh, okay, one with the rabbits. Uh, I'm not familiar with uh, Watership of Down. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Watership Down is one with yeah. the rabbits. Oh, okay, I'm, that's the one. Have you right. also drawn inspiration from Watership Down? No. No, uh, so it's yeah, all. Yeah. That's too bloody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, like I said, originally she had uh, the proportion of characters you see in Secret of Nim. Okay. It was more of a, how do you say this, uh, more uh, bestial in proportion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, but rounder, more, ra yes, more rounder. animalistic, yeah. yeah. But uh, but in the end, we uh, we we are sorry to using this uh, more this anthropomorphic design. Yeah, more humanoid. Yeah, more basically. humanoid. More humanoid, yeah. basically. Humanoid. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it it works. It works well, mm -hmm. especially when you see it translated into sprites. Mm -hmm. it, exactly. It, it shows more. Yes. Yeah. All right. So uh, when we're talking about Secret of Nim, is that is that an inspiration for the game? Is that a uh, with the darkness and the tone? Mm. With with a fun art at the same time. Well, inspiration lore wise, mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, uh, uh, world building wise. World building wise, world building yes. Wise, yes. Okay. Uh, as for the the art, mm -hmm. uh, the designs itself, uh, they're inspired by like uh, Redwall, the the series I mentioned. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, which which one do you tell one want me to tell about next? Uh, any? Uh, uh, could you go around like the regular like the tier one to three units? Mm. Uh, we can actually look at the mirror. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. Uh, th okay, this uh, menu, uh, this section of the menu is, uh, here you can see the... The warrants. Uh, yeah, the, the stats of each unit. Okay. Uh, and their the flavor text and their artwork. Yeah. So this is all you. Mm. This is amazing. Yeah. I like how it plays to their real life animals, like the mole has <laughs> a. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a construction worker with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> and this uh, wolf, uh, this he house. A uh, hail to the megaphone. Drill Sergeant Volkov. Like the, yeah. <laughs> like the alpha, the yeah. alpha wolfish. And 
Yeah, I like the direction they uh, they are doing with the characters because I, uh, you see that uh, that uh, flask. Uh, sorry, the canteen of honey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, he drinks. He has to drink that uh, regularly because uh, his voice. Uh, it's very hoarse from all the shouting. Oh, oh that's okay. so funny! <laughs> yeah. That's so funny! Okay, yeah. I think we could use some honey at, at the end of the day. <laughs> I could use honey. <laughs> okay, so that's so funny. Yeah, and you, I mean, you you get you get that uh, you get that the fact that you know when, when you're yelling all day, you, your voice gets yeah. hoarse, and you, know, you translate that into this character. And the fact that he has that little pouch, that little subtle backstory mm -hmm. to him, it's, yes, it's yes. just that much more fun. Yes, that's basically how how designing these characters uh, uh, go. Uh, basically, we have a, a simple concept. Uh, uh, okay, like this. Uh, uh, originally, I just uh, I just draw a wolf character, uh -huh. uh, but then uh, Andy suggested that uh, hmm, he should have a megaphone. You see, he he yells at his units. Okay. Uh, to give to, uh, to give them buffs, but uh, hmm, we have to push it, uh, we have to push this further. Uh, what if uh, his vo his uh, throat hurts from all the shouting, and uh, ah, let's add a canteen of honey that he brings with him <laughs> every, every time. <laughs> so, and I noticed your art style is uh, is pretty photorealistic in terms of the detail. Uh -huh. That's, that's, that's great. So ah, wh what made you guys uh, decide to go with that instead of more cartoony? Ah, look? yes. Um, uh, you remember the, the, the games during the era of, uh, let's say, uh, Atari? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't around, but uh, I, I was still... Oh, no, I wasn't around either. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, uh, okay, NES. Let's okay, say yeah, NES. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, NES, yeah. NES or Atari. Uh, uh, you know how, how the... I see where this is going. Play, <laughs> you know how the gameplay... of 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 those uh, of those times uh, look uh, very simple, pixelated, mm -hmm. but but the cover art, the marketing art posters uh, all, look, all look all uh, look uh, detailed. Yeah, that's painted. right. That's that's, right. that's the reason we went through this. That's great. Mm, yeah. it's, it's a very nostalgic feel yes. in a way. Yeah. that's great. And man, so you do this? Do you do this digitally? Uh, I mean, you do this uh, with a tab and a pen. And yes, Photoshop. You, it's mm. just Photoshop mm -hmm. paint. I mean, painted. Yeah, it's painted Photoshop. Wow. Yeah. This is great. I'm, I'm you said that you're still you're still in development with this game, right? Yes. Uh, do you plan on actually adding more units to this? Ah, uh, that or, or this is more. Ah, uh, that I have to I have to wait uh, to know <laughs> if it's gonna happen. Because oh, right okay. now we're we're focusing on uh, crushing the bugs and developing the 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 bots the the, the, bots, oh, the yeah. AI of the bots yeah, yeah. the camp the campaign too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And cool. while we're on the topic, yeah. Uh, how early, how in what stage of development are you guys in right now? Mm. I would say uh, okay. Uh, when you say stage of development, there's uh, alpha. Yeah. Yeah. Beta. Hmm. We're in late alpha. Late yeah, alpha. Late already. alpha. Oh, okay. And it's playable. Am yes, I right? it's playable. Yeah. It's playable. So where where can they find this? Where can they find your game online? Mm. Uh, you could sign up uh, for you could sign up for an, an alpha alpha pass in. Uh, Toothandtailgame.com. Mm -hmm. uh, right. I think it's actually here. Oh, this uh, Discord. Sorry. Oh, nice. <laughs> I will join your Discord channel. <laughs> and everyone, on, everyone watching this now is going to see all the list of games right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we have a we have a huge backlog of games <laughs> uh, over here at ESGS, and we're <laughs> yeah, basically you go to uh, www.toothandtailgame. Okay. Com, okay. And you can sign up for the alpha. Okay. Yeah. Oh, awesome, awesome. Oh, it looks like you guys have to extend your, your invite. To <laughs> <laughs> to, 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 no, I never invited you guys. There's, there's an <laughs> infinite sign on Discord that you guys might want to click. But yeah, that, that's great. So Let's go back. It's also, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's also good to know that if if players who are playing the, the late alpha version have any questions or want to help report bugs and, and help you guys with in terms of like development like in, ah. from, a, from a player side, they can talk to you guys. Yes, through Discord. Through the Discord, yeah, 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 so that's great. That's that's fantastic. You don't get a lot of developers that are open yes. to that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's a great thing about them. They're open to uh, opinions and, yeah. and criticisms. Yeah. yeah. Well, since you have been like engaging with your audience, how has the reception been? Like, what have what have you been hearing from, from oh, fans uh, and players? Uh, very positive, actually. Very positive. Uh, they like the gameplay. They like the art, and uh, basically, they want more. They want more. Yeah. I actually want more, you know. Uh, let, let's get into uh, a game so Diego can uh, can can experience the controls. 
Let's, let's play a little bit more while, while we talk to you. Sure. Is, is that good? Yeah. Or maybe Harold and I should go on and Yeah, fly. sure. You want to <laughs> uh, oh, go, okay. go over right. to That would uh, be fun. Uh, yeah, uh, while we're doing this, uh, <laughs> talk us through. Uh, uh, okay. Tell us more uh, about the development screen, right? before, we, before we wrap up. Okay. All right. Um, what exactly do you want to know about the development? Uh, what, what else haven't we talked about mm. uh, that you'd like to? Uh, that oh, you'd like to oh wait, maybe we should switch because like I'll be on that side. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I don't mind being player too. Hard mode. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I, I, I mentioned uh, uh, while initially. Uh, uh, there's a bit of a long story. Okay. With, with my involvement with them. Okay. Uh, so originally the game didn't look like this. Oh, really? Really? Oh, wait, go on. Okay. Um, I'm curious to this. Originally. I was the one doing the art direction of the game, uh -huh. oh. and the game wasn't pixelated. It wasn't what? It pixelated. It wasn't pixelated. Okay. Uh, it's a. Uh, it used painted assets. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. Pro uh. The problem with that is, uh, it's uh. It took it took forever to do. Okay. And and as for art direction, that's not exactly my best skill. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, that's basically the gist of it. But and art direction is a role you had to take on for this yes, for this game. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then we all realized that uh, this isn't going anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so uh, Andy uh, Andy hired a uh, uh, longtime friend, friend developer. Okay. Uh, that also worked in Monaco. Okay. Yeah, uh, Adam DeGrandis. Oh, so they're based. Uh, the company itself is based in Monaco. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I was like. I, no, I, Mo I Monaco. Know. Monaco is their first game. Uh, it's their game before this. I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, the company's based in America, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, San Diego. San Diego, mm -hmm. California. Okay. So you were saying, sorry. Yeah. Um, so uh, the reason you hired that guy because uh, he's, uh, he's he's an art director, an okay. animator too. Um, so basically, uh, he did a lot to he he went through a lot just to get to this uh, this uh, cohesive uh, art direction. Oh. Uh, okay. And the the role I got after that is. Uh, uh, designing the characters uh, because like uh, Adam said uh, my greatest strength is character design okay yeah Not, that's right yeah I mean as for environment and set design it lacks it lacks character compared to my character art okay so okay so that's great uh, you you ended up yep. focusing on the art and being able to free yourself yes. and, and, and focus on it. And yes, so that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, because I, I worked on my strengths. Yeah. Okay, so how did that help? Uh, how did that speed up the process? Did it uh, did, did it drastically change the development? Uh, yeah, uh, the development process. Yes. Uh, yes uh, we got to where we are right now because of that. Oh, really? Yeah. And how long ago was that? One whole year. One whole year yeah. ago. Okay, and uh, how long has the game been in development for? Uh, I think it's been in development for uh, three years, I think. Three years. Yeah. Okay, uh, and you jumped on at what point? Uh, okay, uh, before I jump on, um, they, they already had the, the, ga the, the mechanics of the game established. Okay. okay. Um, uh, everything was... Uh, uh, the, graphics, uh, the graphics of the game uh, were all uh, temp art. Okay. Uh, pro, uh, uh, what do you call uh, programmer art? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my my so initial role. Placeholders. Yeah, placeholders. Yeah. yeah. So my initial my initial role was to uh, was to replace all that with the uh, existing art. With, with, yeah, actual with, uh, with actual assets, assets that you'd be using. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how how many iterations do you go through when you when you pitch the the, the assets to Ca the designs, the, character yeah, designs? The design. hmm. A lot, actually. A lot, uh, yeah, okay. because l like I said, we want to uh, to get the to get those designs down, right down to the smallest detail. Okay, and yeah, it really shows that you guys have taken the time uh, to to iterate on them, to to make sure that they fit the the aesthetic and to fit the the gameplay itself. I don't I don't feel like these units are out of place because you have a lot of different animals. Yes. You have a lot of different uh, types of units, and having these. Uh, let me build one real quick. Having these types of defense <laughs> units, uh, defense. Uh, oh, what can I build with? Oh, because. Uh, Am I too far? Yeah, you went too far too, uh, from your border. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, things like the defense uh, units, they f they would feel out of place if they weren't done right mm -hmm. because of all the because everything else is pretty much an animal. Yes. And you guys have done a great job in in merging the the, the styles, uh, it, in making the style very unified. Uh, is that all you? Can I can I give you all the credit for that? Because it looks great. 
Oh no, I don't want to take all the credit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm serious because uh, we all work together in yeah. in making this. Okay. In, in going this far. And it shows, man. You you guys, the programming, the the, the, the controls feel great. It doesn't feel, uh, it doesn't feel like there's a large learning curve. Yeah. Within within the first minute of you just walking me through, I could yeah, I feel you learn. like yeah. yeah, and it's it's because of the game design. It's because, uh, it's because the conveyance is isn't too is too steep big. Yeah, and it's not mm. it's not steep. The learning curve isn't steep. So I can pick it up. I can teach my friend within mm -hmm. minutes how to play and we get we can just start off having a good time. Yes. Diego. Yeah actually the thing is <laughs> <laughs> actually the thing is yeah I mean I just got into it. I mean I didn't even play earlier but I'm I'm really loving the control scheme. I didn't think I'd ever play an RTS game on a console using let alone using a controller. On a controller. Yes yeah. uh, that's exactly what Oh what yeah, the yeah. game's designed for it's designed for, for a controller, controller game. Yeah, so like I thought I would I thought I, I, I can only play RTS games on a, a keypad and mouse, but this it's like it's really <laughs> controller mm -hmm. is not bad. It's Very not controller a bad friendly. Choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And screen like screenline controls too. Right? Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so if you were you were mentioning if we if we have played with a keyboard and mouse, it'd be yeah. possible. Yes, yeah. it's possible. So so you you guys have gone out of your way to make it friendly for not just the controllers but also for key yes. for keyboard and mouse that's awesome and has that has that always been part of the the, the, the game philosophy like oh it has to reach as many people as possible and no. we, we should be able to if they want to play with a controller they should be able to if they want to play with a keyboard and mouse they should be able to yes okay. I guess you could say that I mean uh, we don't want to alienate any any potential player of, of the game. That's, that's right. That's yeah. a good mindset. That's a good mindset. So how long are we looking until this game is the full game is released? Mm. Do we have a timeline in, in mind? Sadly, no. Okay. <laughs> so, so, uh, well, we don't have a definite, definite date. But if you look at the Steam page, it says right there, release uh -huh. date when you least expect it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay, so when you least expect it. But you guys are actively working on this. Yeah. And uh, you mentioned that... Yeah, it... it it, it's going to be when we least expect it. Are, and are we going to expect this purely on PC, or are there other consoles that we're, all, we're also... Uh, what are you doing to my base? We, we <laughs> potentially have the chance to play these on. Uh, just PC. Just PC. Just all right, that's yeah. good. That's good. PC, PC is great. I mean, I, I'm kicking Diego's ass on PC right now because <laughs> of because I got hardened by your defeat by your defeat of my, <laughs> of my team. Oh, see, you guys are having fun. What's happening? Who's winning? Uh, Diego, you're winning. I am? I don't yeah. know. I think you're destroying my base, but I have a, I have a guy with a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, even with bots, this uh -huh. game is so much fun. Really? With I played at home with bots. So against bots. So. I so chose the wrong units. I have no anti-air. <laughs> <laughs> I only have exploding frogs. I'm going to go to your base. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if, if, the, if the players download this now, uh, what can they expect to be able to play? Uh, I'm sorry. If they download the the alpha mm -hmm. off of Steam, uh, what can they be ex be able to expect to play? Uh, is, is this the build that they'll be playing? The, yes. the, the versus player. Yes. So they, sorry, Diego. No, that was my second base. Yeah, uh, they can play against other characters. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, they can play against other players. Uh, couch co-op. Co uh, uh -huh. Against players online and bots. I'd love to. So couch co-op meaning we get to play against bots already as well as a team. Yes. Yes. You okay. Can that. Oh wow. Well. And then the so story can mode. Go, uh, you can go. Against uh, two on two. Okay, so <laughs> the story mode is what's under development. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, on a side note, uh, the, <laughs> the 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 music composer of this game is uh, Austin Wintry. Okay. Uh, he's the guy who composed music for J uh, Journey. Oh Journey my God! Uh, really? Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate Two. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Assassin's Creed Syndicate Two is. Yeah. Man. You guys, you guys have some heavy hitters on your team. Yeah. Why did they pick anti-air? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I decided I really like these exploding frogs. I'm gonna yeah, go with them. <laughs> this game is so fun. And uh, the guys who did the sound sound design here is uh, Power Up Audio. Okay. Uh, they recently did uh, uh, Darkest Dungeon. No, Harold. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh man, sorry. I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm, He's wrecking I'm, wo me. I'm whooping DZ right now, and uh, <laughs> I have to sell this stuff so I can do anything. <laughs> Beware my exploding frogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, good. Base expansion! Oh. That's, that's so, so you're saying that when, uh, when it comes to the game... Uh, 
I had a one game uh, experience, DZ. Okay. I, I was ahead of you by one game. So you see how how fast one game takes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So uh, in terms of the game, how fast uh, are the average matches when you play with your friends? Hmm. Uh, okay. This one took uh, seven minutes and five seconds. That was fast. That's actually that was pretty fast. fast. Yeah. That was pretty fast. Okay, so it's kind of a rush thing. Yes, it's okay. kind of a rush thing. Yeah. All right. So uh, do you do you guys play? Uh, you guys play with your friends. I mean, obviously you guys uh, work together. But mm. you, since you were based away from the U.S., uh, who do you get to play with? Ah, actually, I haven't played against any human player. Oh, really? Uh, because, uh, Until you whooped me today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, you're my you're my first uh, human opponent. I'm your first conquest. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yes, all my opponents recently are just bots. Okay, but okay. you can actually learn uh, yeah. learn the ins and outs of the game. Yeah, uh, I'm playing with bots. It's so easy and it's so fun. Yeah. I have a question here. Where are you comsatting me? It's com <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, I like. The, I really like that it's split screen. I mean, I forgot that it was split screen. That I forgot to check where Harold's base was yes. on yeah. this side of the map. Because you're managing. <laughs> because you're managing your factory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went one way and searched for more. And searched for more farm. Yeah. Uh, and I noticed. Oh, okay. And I noticed that. Um, I noticed one of your dudes. I noticed one of your yellow dudes, and I was like, ah, okay, maybe if I go a little lower, he'll be there. <laughs> You're in my case, killing my dudes. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> so this has been so much fun. I can't wait to. I can't wait to download this. On, yeah, on I'm PC. so gonna play this. Yeah, yeah. me too. <laughs> so, uh, how much can we expect to pay for the the, the, the Steam game? Oh, uh, hmm. we don't have a, a definite set price for that yet, mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, probably, probably it won't go higher beyond twenty. Okay. Okay. Twenty dollars. Hopefully, right? hopefully. Yeah. All right, that sounds good. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank yeah. you this so much. A, this has been a, a magnificent experience getting owned by you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. We don't see much RTS indie games, honestly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, I can miss this. Uh, yeah, this uh, genre. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So go ahead. Uh, Dizzy, let's wrap up. Let's, let's get this going. Okay. And let's let our friend promote his game at the <laughs> Indie Arena here at the SMX Convention Center in oh, yeah. Mall of Asia. Yes, Jerome, please. Why don't you give us a... Let us let, let people at home know where you can check out the game, download any possible release dates, future content, any shoutouts you'd like to make. Mm. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, you could uh, sign up for the alpha and download the game in uh, toothandtailgame.com. And uh, we also have a Discord channel. Uh, Pocket Watch, uh, Pocket Watch games, yeah, and uh, yeah, Pocket Watch games also has a Twitter. You can contact us, uh, con contact, uh, contact us uh, through Twitter. And uh, I'd like to give a shout out to the two Andes who brought <laughs> <who's laughs> me along the project, and uh, Adam the Grand is uh, Master Stealth and Awesometry and the Power of Guys for for creating this amazing game with me. <laughs> yeah, thank, yeah. You, thank you guys so much for thank your you game. So much. It's yeah. so good. It's so good. All right. So uh, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, your friends at home? Mm. Well, aside from hi, Mom. Aside from your hi, team. Dad. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You got to give props yeah. to the people who made you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're, right. very, they're, they're uh, very supportive in my, in my career, in my craft. Oh, really? Yeah, That's yeah. great. That's great. Okay. All right. So, DZ, take us away, man. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you again, Jerome, yeah. for that awesome All experience. Right. Tooth and Tail from Pocket Watch Games, guys. Once again, my name has been Diego Zuluaga from Quit Stalling. I just want to give a shout out to XSplit and Wena Manila for giving us the opportunity to go to here at Indie Arena playing at ESGS 2016. We'll be here for the, for the rest of the day and tomorrow as well, guys. See you soon. All right, see you soon. Bye. Okay. Woohoo!